What's up, everyone? Welcome to another edition of Theron's Thoughts. My name's Theron Shetty. These are my thoughts. Hope you guys are doing well. This is my happy mug. Look at this, Bobby Khan. Somebody made this for me years ago. Hope you guys are doing well. Having a fantastic Labor Day. Um, I woke up really early. I woke up at 5.15, yay for me. The reason why I do it, it's not because I'm super motivated, but because I'm, again, not part of any gym here. And it's like, like the sun, like walking on Mars here in LA. So I've got to wake up early before the sun rises and, and do something. Uh, so I went to Runyon Canyon, like this place where actors go and hang out. And, and it was totally dark when I was walking up the mountain. So I was like, is this even safe? And it was awesome, like seeing the sun rise at 6.30. And as I came back down, I saw crowds of people just start like a parade <laughs> up this hiking trail and and I've said this before but like waking up early is the way to go like I was just you know Mark Wahlberg wakes up at as of not not saying Mark Wahlberg is the 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 paradigm of excellence but like Stephen Cannell who was like this huge writer in the 80s created a team Rockford files like he was like the Aaron spelling like I read somewhere that he would wake up at four because the phone wouldn't ring. And sometimes like when I do stand up too much, like if I'm out too late, then I wake up at like 10 or 11, like the day's shot, there's nothing I can do. I'm like, well, I gotta go to lunch now. And then you gotta start driving to a gig. Like sometimes I'm like, man, this is such a waste of time. So I think when I'm in LA, I might just tone down the stand up a little bit. But yesterday I ran into a friend of mine and one of his parents was diagnosed with cancer around the same time as my mom. And then I saw him and uh, his parent passed away two weeks ago. And he had the same dead look in his eyes that I pretty much have. Like I'm really good at turning it on, but it was like looking into a mirror because I knew exactly how he felt. I knew what he saw. And really I said, look, man, nothing I can say to you. In fact, I hate it when people say, hey, condolences, prayers, like just shut up, just fucking shut up. Don't say that to me. Like, I, I know they're trying to be helpful and I know they don't know what to say, but I just don't wanna uh, hear it because that's just how I am. Like, just let me be alone and let me deal with it myself. Anyways, I gave him a space. I was like, hey man, we'll catch up some other time, you know, uh, and I'll swing by again and I'll, and I'll see him. But I was thinking most days, I feel really depressed still to the point where like, I'm like, man, this is all meaningless. You know, what am I doing? But I'll wake up anyways. Like, like today I woke up, I worked out and then I'll probably start writing. And I feel like our feelings are bullshit. Like we're, we're programmed with these feelings because, you know, by nature, like uh, we were, we were programmed to, to be scared of going outside so we wouldn't get eaten by woolly mammoth, right? These are feelings programmed into us but it's our actions that really define us. So I was like, look, I can be depressed every day. I can, I can, you know, still be grieving and stuff, but fucking A, I am not gonna stop working out. I'm not gonna stop writing. I'm gonna keep moving. And another one of my friends was like, dude, you're so lucky that you love to write every day. And I was like, what are you talking about? You think I like to write? Like, yeah, I enjoy it when I finish it. Like I enjoy like going to mics and trying out stuff when I have a body of work in front of me. But the actual creation of like looking at a piece of paper and creating comedy and making it funny, like this is like a like a 30 year process of this things, you know, I've learned how to do this, but it's still hard. Like every time I sit down, it is extremely difficult. I mean, even working out, I mean, I know people are like, oh man, runner's high, it's so amazing to run. Man, I don't enjoy it at all. Uh, like I work hard to keep in shape and I'm not even in great shape like I used to be, but I do just enough where I can, you know, maintain. I hope this isn't too, too in your face for your magical Labor Day weekend. But these are thoughts I had as I was prancing down the mountain. I hope you guys have a great Labor Day. Thanks for watching. We'll talk soon. Bye.